Hey guys, uh, day 93. Um, this is the second one we're recording um, for today. Today is uh, we're reading How the Rabbit Rid the Forest of Its Tyrant um, from Burmese Folktales by Mong Tinong. Um, as I said, these uh, fairy tales are kind of uh, a little bit gruesome, uh, but they're fun to read all the same. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. How the rabbit rid the forest of its tyrant. King Lion called all the animals together and said, When I go out to hunt, I spread terror and panic among you all. Yet I kill but one animal a day for food. If we can come to a mutual agreement by which I get one animal every day, it will be of benefit to you because you will be released from an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty that prevails now in the forest. And it will have benefits to me also because I shall not have to hunt any more. The animals approved of the lion's proposal and agreed to send one animal every morning at sunrise. Among themselves, the animals arranged that lots should be drawn every evening and that the one whom the lot fell on should go to the lion the next day at sunrise. For many days the arrangement stood. The lion stayed in his den, and the other animals roamed the forest without fear or anxiety. And every day at sunrise, one animal went into the lion's den and was promptly eaten. But one evening, the lot fell to the rabbit, and he said to himself, Why should I be eaten by the lion? I will think of a way to rid the forest of its tyrant. So the whole night the rabbit did not sleep, but sat thinking. At sunrise, the lion woke up and waited for his victim, but no one turned up. He was just starting out for the forest in anger to accuse the animals of treachery and treason, when the rabbit turned up breathless. I presume you are my breakfast, said the lion. Why are you so late? My lord, replied the rabbit, have patience, for I have a tale to relate. As I was coming to you, I met another lion who proposed to eat me up until I told him that I was to be on my way to you, the king of the forest. At this, he became very angry and told me that you were the usurper and he is the rightful king. He let me go on the condition that I should go round the forest and tell all the animals that the rightful king of the forest had returned to kill the usurper. Take me to that villain, that liar, ordered the lion, and the rabbit led him to a deep well. Look down, my lord, said the rabbit, for this is his den. The lion looked down and saw his own reflection in the water, thinking it to be the other lion. He jumped into the well with a roar of anger and was drowned. When the, anim when the animals learned of the rabbit's exploit, they marveled at his wisdom, and from that day onwards, the rabbit has been called Wise Rabbit. The end. Delightful. I'll see you guys next time.